Um, you guys knocked off Louisville, Miami, Syracuse, and now Duke. Uh, you guys are in a rhythm. Just talk about Seminoles basketball and what it's like for you personally right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling. We had some adversity um, beginning of the season, but you know now that we kind of worked out those kinks and we're playing hard, playing together and following the game plan and trusting the coaches, I mean, everything's falling into place. So we had some great wins, but we got to continue to focus on our uh, next game, which is Thursday. Y'all deal with, like you mentioned the game Thursday, y'all deal with the two-day turnarounds. This one's pretty unique. I think your next game's about 36 hours from right now. How, how different is that quick turnaround when you kind of have to get going right after you stop? Yeah, it, it, it's different. Um, You know, usually you have a couple of days to kind of prepare, but, you know, we'll probably start preparing tomorrow, and then we got to come back and compete Thursday. So, I mean, some of the, the older guys are, are used to it, but um, I think it's going to be a good experience for our younger guys to, you know, learn how to take care of their body, take care of their business, and, you know, learn that, you know, sometimes in the tournament, this is how it's going to be and things like that. So for them to be able to go through this experience, I think it's going to be a good learning experience. Raekwon, just the, the fans storming the court at the end of the game. I mean, you hear about that happening and to be a part of something like that, but th just this crowd in general, how loud was the Tucker Center tonight and just the support from these fans? Uh, it, it was very loud. You know, a lot of the fans uh, showed up with, I want to say 70 minutes left until the game. So um, they were there pretty early. Our student section was there pretty early and it was just great to feel the love and the support and, you know, for them to storm the court, that was a great feeling as well because it just shows, you know, how passionate and, uh, um, you know, the love that they really give us. And I'm just excited that we got to get that win for them, but also like for Coach Ham and the coaching staff as well. I feel like we ask this every time now, 13 straight overtime wins now for FSU, two more than anyone else has ever done. I guess, what, what's the secret? Uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, it comes from within, you know, you gotta, you're going to want to play hard overtime games, you know, you get a second chance. So you got to take, uh, you got to take advantage of that. And I just think we followed our game plan and just continued to play hard and, uh, just cards just fell in our favor. Ray Cron, you guys are staying disciplined again, obviously just keeping those turnovers very low on your end. And obviously they had 15 compared to you, your five, but what is it about you guys? Because obviously, um, Coach Hamilton even mentioned, obviously, how he, he put a lot of young guys out there, but you guys were able to keep the uh, turnovers down. Um, everyone's learning pace and when to attack and just reading the defense. You know, a lot of the times um, people want to kind of go on the first first side, and that's something that we struggled with early in the season, you know, one pass shots and things like that. But now everyone's kind of getting the rhythm and understanding that, you know, everyone has to touch the ball. We got to move the defense to get open shots. So, um, I think, you know, not having a lot of turnovers obviously is key to having big wins, but to see that the younger guys are really learning and uh, taking that serious has really been helping us. Any more questions for Raekwon? Thank you, Raekwon. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Thank you.